snatch this up. All right, you got approval. Lock all these doors down if we don't clear this hallway. Clear it out. You'll be able to see it on TV. You know the rules, dude. Clear the, clear the hallway. Clear the hallway. I ask you nicely twice. After that, I'm going to raise my voice. So get the out of here. You. You ain't hard, motherfucker. Don't bow up. He's just upset because I called him out, yelled at him. Probably embarrassed him in front of his peers, but this is prison. There's rules that need to be followed. Hey, I've talked to you several on. times. Challenge. I've talked to several times. Like I'm talking to you. Chill out. He's in my face disrespecting me. I show you guys nothing but the utmost respect. You guys never had a problem with me. And when he's trying to talk to me like I'm no. a child. When, when I got to tell you like over, that. I'm not talking to you like that Call at all. Call and see what I'm about. Okay. They'll tell you, you know what I'm saying? Let's clear it out. What? Hey. You come on out here. You don't want to talk to inmates. We're not folks. You want people. respect? Give us respect. You're a rookie. I talk to people. Give us respect. I'm waiting for you. Finish up. Finish up. I don't know if he's just doing this for fun or trying to make a career out of it. If he's trying to make a career out of it, it's, it's going down the drain immediately. We have a sign on his door saying, do not give this inmate the phone. Someone steal your phone. You know you're not supposed to use the phone at all till July right now? Yeah, right now. So my question is, how are you still using it? Who's giving you the phone? An uh, inmate from 102 throws out her laundry bag. Imagine comes, picks it up, goes back, and hands it over to 101. The phone's in there, wrapped up. This is exactly what happened, Kay. We're picking up trays. 102 tells me, I've had this laundry bag for two days, and I don't know whose it is. And I grab the laundry bag, I look at it, and it says Charlie 101 on the laundry bag in Sharpie. I said, Hawkins, what's up with your laundry bag, dude? He goes, I haven't had it in two days. And that's when I gave him the laundry bag. But there was no phone in it, I promise. The way the bag falls out right here, it like bounces, watch. It's like there's something heavier or harder in there than other than laundry. Pretty ingenious. It just shows right now that to just, whatever you get and you give it to another inmate, just look through it and see what's in there. Because he, they could easily hide drugs in there, weapons, anything, and pass them over to their neighbors. These guys know how to play con games and they know how to get stuff, you know. One of my most favorite things about this job is doing the shakedowns and finding stuff. It lets me, let the inmates know, like, hey, I'm watching you, I'm on my toes. You can hide stuff wherever, I'm going to find it. I didn't know there's no such thing as a perfect officer. You know, I want to be pretty damn close. Uh, we haven't marked okay. it. Okay. Good, clear. STIU is the investigations unit within the Department of Corrections. I feel like it made me look like I didn't know how to do my job. Here we go, check this room, and then someone goes in there 10 seconds later and finds something. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. I didn't see none of that, dog. SNM members, they're they're very dangerous. If I make mistakes like this, they could ultimately get myself or someone else killed. I'm gonna test you. What color does it turn? Two times blue. It looks a little bit blue on the side there. This is too much on the blue. I think it's some form of cocaine. Tell that individual he's got one hour to submit to a UA. Your analysis. Oh, and okay. We'll take it outside. We'll take yeah. it outside with us. Yeah, that's, that's clean, yeah. So he's positive right here on the pink one. I'm trying to find out what kind of substance it is, but uh, so far he's positive. It shows it clearly. Three, three entry, please. Five feet dorm officer. That's what the pink means? You're not supposed to be a cover to you, 
me and him. I told him that he stayed back. I told him not to the cameras. You saw that it was positive before you even walked out of the bathroom. No, and she showed me two lines. It said the pink line was right there. That mm -hmm. means that if the line show up, mm -hmm. that it's negative. And the line was there, man. 10, 15 minutes, okay. come back. The thing about it is, is, if you no, you, you saw that it was positive if, before you even walked out of the bathroom. No, she showed me too red. Totally the understandable. What you, what you do is, when this officer writes you up, what you can do is you state that on the appeal. That you wasn't there when the test was read. You think the officers put something there? And then that's, that's the way it goes, on the appeal. Because that's your right. It's hard to have an inmate in your custody and sit there and tell you to do your job. It's embarrassing for the officer, and it's frustrating as well. And if an inmate calls you out on something, learn from that mistake. And don't make the same mistake twice. You sit down right there. I'm doing an assessment here. I'm going to determine how good you are to come out in public here. All right, let's get it started. All right. Do you understand that you're going to be coming out in this population with people who are in active gangs right, still? Right, right. Do you feel good about that? Do you have an issue with that? What I'm more concerned about is where you're going to be and where your head's at if they put another Sudeño in the pot. I know Sudeño, I'm a Sudeño dropout. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. Do you have an issue with active gang members as it is? Do I have an issue with active gang members? No, I don't. You don't? No. Call me out, I'm a Sudeño, I'm going to fill this cap back. Then you have a an issue. No, no issue, man. You're crazy. You guys are Huh? <laughs> You planning on assaulting anyone? Are you watching? You planning on assaulting anyone? You're watching Gangland. You're crazy. Come on. I'm gonna roll his cap back. Why would you say something so stupid? Don't throw that off on me. Come on, man. Wait. Mm. If I could smack you with this book, I would do it. But watch. If I could smack you with my fist, I'll do it too. Sorry, this bottle is acting aggressive. Perto. I haven't been able to do my job at all today because of you. Wait, I was just looking out for your safety, bro. Perto, he wants to go out there and get the bad guy. But as far as SCIU is concerned, the super cop mentality, it could be a hindrance. To be part of this group, you have to be able to use your head. You have to have a certain demeanor that keeps you with a calm. That's a growing experience for him. In this situation, all my rovers on the compound responded. Andrew Martinez was the last one to show up. Everything that isn't going the way I expected it. I just expected it just to be inside a unit, you know, just watching these inmates uh, coming in and out of their cells all day. They call response, get, it, get off your ass and go. That could have gone real bad. It's, it is a prison, you know what I'm saying? They're not, these guys aren't here for singing too loud in a choir. And if you're not comfortable, then honestly, you shouldn't be here. That's for damn sure. Jafaro, go to door 2, 239. They're rolling up a cigarette right now. Tempo. Someone's smoking. Hold on. Hold on. This is my batteries. Go back to my more time. That's all it is. You guys were... Doing nothing. Now I'm going to follow you guys. You serious? Take your shoe off. Take your shoe off. Take your shoe off. Found the pin. Top flight security of the world. Nothing wrong. He just likes to run his mouth. I want to prove myself just in case something does hit the fan. People know they can count on me. But I shook it down, and I didn't find anything. Uh, it's gone. Let's go. I'm like, oh, like I, I want to catch these guys like right now. So, um, yeah. Where is it? He didn't have anything. He I, did have it. I told you he put in his left sock. Just lick the cigarette. Yeah. Boom, right in his sock. Really? Oh, man. They're going to take me seriously? They look like I'm 12 years old. My biggest fear is not going home to my wife. 
Sooner or later, you're gonna have to go face your fear. Put the weapon down! That's what we do every day.